on take down here welcome back to another video today we're gonna to be checking out my 2022 playstation wrap up i do this video every year just to for myself to keep track of everything but i absolutely love sharing this sharing my top games that i played this past year trophies different things like that i know my trophy count is going to be a lot lower this year because i did not trophy hunts like i have in previous years but hopefully i will be shocked with some of these results uh, we're gonna be checking it out i will try to leave the link to the uh wrap up so you can check out your own in the description down below but we're just going to check this out here and see how accurate it is it's way earlier this year by the way um this year it was um scroll it up here this year it did come out about the second week of december and usually this doesn't come out until the end of february so we're going to be checking it out here and see uh, so I have already checked these out for myself, but now that we're recording, it obviously is going to show it a little bit different than I already seen. So each of these we will have to click to get into. So the first one here, let's just check it out. This past year I played, wow, I played a total of 932 hours. That is between both my PS4 and PS5. Once I got the PS5, I'm mainly playing that now. Um, I have 91 more hours played compared to last year. Only 91 more. That is hilarious. Uh, so we're going to scroll down here. And my total play time for the PS4 was... 818 hours for the ps5 115 hours which does make sense my total right here for a number of days played 272 out of 365 that is crazy my local hours 859 compared to online 73 i do play a lot more local uh offline games rather than online anymore i don't really play with jack or anybody anymore other than playing myself online for apex or possibly sometimes gta I'm going to scroll down here, and it just gives you stats on Horizon Forbidden West, which I have yet to get into, but it is crazy, some of these stats. So you're going to go here, you can click back for the dashboard. So unlike previous years where it's just a continuous scroll, uh, this year you do have to click and go back and click and go back, which I'm actually a fan of. So this year I played a total of 56 games. Wow. So out of that, here are my top five games for this past year. Up first, first place we have wwe 2k 2022 which is no surprise i don't have it for the ps5 i only have it for the ps4 but the stats i guess are continuing it's my most played for this past year which makes sense and it's crazy over 50 percent of my total annual play time was on this game which i play a ton of my universe mode in that because i have a a lot of fun doing that i think that number is really high but 473 total hours played just on that game alone i think that's really too high second place it does make sense as well nhl 2022 uh this game here 131 hours yeah i've been playing a lot of faction mode um uh, no sorry franchise mode on that game uh, and really just having a lot of fun with it so that one being second place does make sense Next up, Grand Theft Auto Online for the PS5. This one here doesn't make complete sense for me. It says 73 hours, but I just don't believe it because I didn't play it too much this year. Um, maybe I did, but I think I played Apex Legends a lot more, which is fourth place. That is a total of 65 hours played um, for it. So that to me makes complete sense. I've been playing a lot of Apex and going into 2023, I'm going to be playing Apex Legends a ton, trying to get a lot more videos for you guys. So that does make sense. And then fifth place here, Far Cry 6. I absolutely love this game. I finally beat it 40 hours total. A lot of fun, a lot of stuff to do. Highly recommend that game. But yeah, that does make sense. For 2022, my favorite genre, based on WWE 2K22, is fighting, because most of my hours were on that. I played five fighting games. I only earned 51 trophies for fighting games, though. But, uh, yeah, had a lot of fun. And then it shows the new God of War, uh, different stats on it, which, again, I have yet to play. So I'm going to just go on and go back uh, to the next one here, which is trophy-related, which I think is going to be very low. 543 trophies for this past year i'm gonna believe it i think that's about right um i was trying to get around a thousand uh a thousand to twelve hundred previous years so this year i did not go anywhere close to beating my record but honestly i was not trophy hunting like i was in the past now i'm basically playing games on playstation on my ps5 
games that I want to play, games that I'm having fun with, not just grinding out trophies and then getting bored of gaming in general. I'm playing games that I want to, so that makes sense. Uh, we did have a total of eight platinums this past year, so I didn't break my record there. I think my record for most platinums in a year is 16, so didn't come anywhere near that, about half of that. Uh, we did have 84 gold. 126 silver and 325 bronze so it does make sense and then this is a cool feature i absolutely love this my first trophy ever was on wwe 12 back in 2012 february 8th that is crazy and then now ratchet and clank rift apart which i just platinumed and that game is amazing not only to platinum it's a lot of fun but the game the story everything about it is awesome a true classic playstation game for the ps5 which is great uh, this one here was recent december 8th now i did obviously that's probably around the time that they ended uh collecting stats so they can put this out very quick but yeah this game here is a lot of fun i highly recommend it and then Gran Turismo 7 is a lot of stats for it, which again, I have yet to play. I'm just going to go back to the last category, which is PlayStation Plus here. Uh, this past year, because they combined PlayStation Plus with PlayStation Now, there was 833 games considered part of PS Plus, uh, depending on which tier you do have. Uh, for this here, I spent 64 hours online, which makes sense. I did claim 19 uh, PS Plus games, and my top online game was Grand Theft Auto Online, which I don't believe in. I think it should be Apex Legends, in my opinion. Going down here, that's really cool that they decided to do that this year. So the top monthly games uh, was going to be f uh, FIFA for PS Plus. It was offered in May. Uh, UFC 4, which is offered in February, which does make sense. That's a great game. Dirt 5, which was in January 2022 when it was released for that month. Uh, Sonic Racing, which was March. And then we do have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, which uh, was August. So those were the top ones there. I didn't see this last time. Uh, available, so most popular... Uh, Stray was the most popular one, followed by Spider-Man Miles Morales, followed by Ghost, uh, Assassin's Creed, Red Dead Redemption 2, and then we do have the classics up here, which was only available on premium. So we have Mafia in first place, God of War Remastered, God of War 3 Remastered, Toy Story 2, I didn't even realize that was on there, that one would be interesting to check out, Lego Harry Potter, and then Tekken 2. So very, very cool that they uh, did keep track of that this year. Then it has stats on the game Stray. And then I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And once you click through everything, you'll see it just like this, where it says uh, a brief little thing on total playtime, your top games, uh, your trophies earned, and PlayStation Plus. That's each of the categories. And if you scroll down here, once you're complete, you actually get a summary card, which shows your annual highlights so it says over here your hours played your trophies earned your ps plus games the games that you played for this past year and it shares the top game that you did play which for me makes sense why it was wwe i'm not sure i'm going to share that on social media but uh, it's definitely really cool and if you just keep scrolling down you do earn a trophy uh, sorry an uh, an avatar that you can use based on what your top game genre was so since mine was fighting i literally received this one right here which in my opinion since they all have this character here i'm likely not going to use it's the worst avatar that they released for us uh, as part of the wrap-up in previous years it was amazing this year i'm not, just not a fan of i, I don't enjoy that as much uh, so i'm likely not going to use it but you guys can use this code right here if you would like to be able to get this single one here, or your code might be completely different uh, if you do have a different genre that um, was your top one for the past year. But yeah, these are my wrap up for 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hopefully will remember this year to leave the link down in the description so you guys can check out your wrap up comment down below how many trophies you earned what was your top game for 2022 and what was your favorite game playing this past year but i'm gonna leave this video here hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys in the next one please take care peace